Hello, I'm Captain Bill Cobb of the Winston-Salem, North Carolina Police Department. I'm in charge of the Special Operations Division inside of our Police Department and have been tasked with uh, helping the Police Department and our community implement our Smart Policing Grant Initiative. Uh, Winston-Salem Police Department and our community partners have been involved for several years with a version of Smart Policing, i.e. being data-driven, trying to go out into the, into the community and take crime statistics and arrest data as well as partnerships with the, the folks that are already in the community to change the communities for a, for a positive way. We believe that smart policing is the next logical step for us in the data analysis of being both efficient and effective. The hope would be is, is that as we are able to get better data, analyze better data, that we'll be able to deploy our resources into the community to understand not only crime control problems but other social issues also believe that we'll end up with our community partners that are there and many of the issues in the past that may have been that manifest themselves as crime control or public safety issues actually have the roots in other social issues. So the hope would be is, is not only would we be able to make our community a safer and better place to live, that the actual residents themselves would benefit from having the ability to, to have a police department that is working in collaboration with other social service groups. Um, I always like the quote that if, uh, if, if if the only tool that you have is a hammer, all your problems look like nails, is, is that what the police department and our community partners are trying to do, and through this smart policing grant, is, is to come back and use a, a multitude of resources and, and tools that we have that are available to us to be smarter about what we're doing. And in times of uh, tight economics, it's also the wise thing to do, be, to be a, a good steward of, of public money, to be able to come back and say that we're putting the right number of people in the right place, focused on the right crimes, trying to arrest the, the true violent offenders and, and make the, the community a safe place. One of the things that we've done with smart policing, our focus is on violent offenders and quality of life issues. And One of the things with quality of life is, is that's the thing that brings uh, our council people, police commanders, other people in the community. Those are the, those are the crimes that um, the urinating in public, the littering, the, um, the folks that are out drinking in public that really scare people, aggressive panhandling. So we're hoping to, to deal with that as well as individuals in the community that are involved in the drug trade or involved in any type of violent behavior or the utilization of weapons in the community. Uh, we look forward to, to moving forward with smart policing. We look forward to partnering with the other nine sites, with BJA and with CNA to work with us in, in developing our overall plan and implementation and, and the review and, and going forward with it.